finally decided to stop playing and go ahead and buy me an airbrush machine. So this one, obviously Amazon, y'all see the box. And it was, I believe it was $35. So yeah, $35, it was 10% off. So it was originally $40. I've been dying to get one of these for the longest time. I originally wasn't gonna do this as a video for this week. I was like, might as well, cause I really didn't have too much else in mind. Before I unbox the actual machine and show you guys, this is the nail set that I saw on Instagram. And it's super cute. Y'all just look at it. I just have to recreate it. We'll see if I can recreate it. I don't know if I can make my nails look this good, but we're gonna try. So this is my inspo. This is what I'm gonna try to recreate today with my new little airbrush machine. So if you're interested to see the unboxing of the airbrush machine and what I end up with at the end of this video, keep on watching, but we have to do our post notification shout outs first. So here's the first three people that commented on my last video. Thank you guys so much for turning your post notifications on and for subscribing. And if you would like a shout out, just like these three people here, all you have to do is be the first three people to come on my videos by turning on your post notifications. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Open it up and here we go. So of course I had to get pink. Y'all already know me. Well, if you don't know, I love pink. So this particular one does not come in different colors. They only offer pink, but you can go search on Amazon for different airbrush machines if you want a different color. So it looks like this right here is kind of the base. Obviously this piece is gonna go on top of here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that on. I literally just had to watch their little mini tutorial that they have on Amazon to see which one do you put up here at the top. And it looks like you could put either one. So they have this one in there. So we're just gonna start out with this one. Go ahead and screw that in. Look at her in her glory. Let's get into some hairbrushed nails. I am excited, but I am also very terrified. So I just wanted to go back for a minute and show you guys that this airbrush machine is rechargeable. This is the cord that they give you to recharge it. And of course you need to provide your own wall piece. And once you assemble it, you're good to go. Now we're gonna put the airbrush to the side for a minute. We have to, of course, put our nail tips on and everything like that. So I got my nail tips from Amazon. Of course, I will have it in my Amazon storefront for you guys to find it, but I went on and filed them off camera so we can go ahead and dive in head first with this nail art. But just to show you, just in case you're curious, I applied the nail tips with this Prepping One gel by McCart. So I'm gonna do a French look just like the picture. So our cover color is gonna be this nail plumper flattery by McCart and I'm just gonna put two coats of that on each of my nails. You can find this gel and the UV nail lamp that I'm using on McCart's website. You can use my code to get a little bit of money off of your purchase. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds and then do my second layer of polish and cure again for another 30 seconds. And that's how it looks with two layers of polish. Okay, so I'm about to let you guys know right now, this set is not gonna look exactly like the picture at all because I thought I had some circular stencils to be able to pull off this look, but I do not. So it's not gonna look like the picture, but we're gonna try to mimic it as much as possible. So I'm gonna do a green French like it is in the picture and we're gonna do an airbrush over it. Y'all will see it in a minute. But this is what I'm using for the green gel polish. This is gel paint from Madame Glam and we're just gonna do a regular French tip. Now, after I can finish playing with this airbrush machine for this video, listen, I'm gonna go for a search for some circular stencils, like really all types of stencils and really most of my content on tiktok and instagram is going to be airbrushed when i tell y'all i've been wanting this for so long so now that i finally got it oh it's overload of airbrush content <laughs> but now i'm going to use my application brush just to fill everything in and then we're gonna go ahead and cure that and move on to finally using the airbrush machine So in the picture, it's kind of like, I wanna say a greenish bluish color that's kind of airbrushed over the green fringe line. So I tried to mimic that color. I have some gel paint from Savalan. You can find that also on Amazon too. I have that in my Amazon storefront. 
Now, don't mind me mixing this green and this blue together. I thought it was going to give me the greenish bluish color, but it did not. The color that I did end up with was still complimentary to green, so it doesn't matter. So to put the polishes in the airbrush machine, what we're going to do is start off with some acetone and we're going to fill up this little part right here, some acetone. just like that and whatever color you want to be airbrushed you just go ahead and mix that color into the acetone and what i did was i mixed both blue and green into the acetone so i can get as close as to the color that was in the picture as possible so i just wipe the polish off on the edge and then i take a dotting tool and mix it in so i just started with the green and put that in there first and then after i finish mixing the green in i just do the same thing with my blue now i will say this if you're gonna airbrush make sure you use gloves because it will get all over your hand so just cut the little piece out of the top of the glove of each finger and yeah just have gloves because you want to make sure your hands are covered because it's going to be a mess if you don't have your hands covered you will see what i mean in a minute when i say cut the tips of each finger of the glove out in a minute because i demonstrated that in this video but once you have everything mixed together you can go ahead and screw your top back on and then we can start airbrushing so the button to turn on the airbrush is towards the bottom so you're just going to press that and then it'll turn on and your airbrush will be blowing air but it won't blow the actual paint until you push back that little lever at the top this was my first attempt i'm going to show y'all where i messed up at. so i started by gently pressing back that lever to let out some of the gel paint and then when i pressed it a little harder the air blew harder so then that happens and we don't want our airbrush to look like that I tried to recover it by airbrushing a little bit over it, but it still was there. So I ended up wiping it off and just trying it again. On my second attempt, I just pressed that lever back as gently as possible so that air wouldn't blow out so hard. And it worked! And I got so excited, y'all. To the point where I just forgot about the reference picture as a whole. So in the reference picture, it's ombre not really aura so i'm just doing aura at this point i'm just spraying one little dot in the middle and going on about my business <laughs> but after you're satisfied with how it looks you just go ahead and cure so as you can see we're doing aura nails we're going in a whole different direction i didn't do it on purpose guys i'm sorry i just got caught up and got a little excited but in that excitement i made another mistake so you guys just learn from my mistakes so here's what i did this time so i noticed when i look back at the nails the part where it's blue wasn't as dark as i wanted it to be so i already cured everything and i'm thinking oh i can just go ahead and airbrush over it and it'll be darker well evidently when i went back over it i kind of sprayed in the wrong spot so now it was just a big blob of blue on one of my fingers and i already know the finished product is not gonna look right so if you're gonna do that just be mindful of where the direction you're spraying in but also i could have just stayed and just airbrushed it for a little bit longer to get that darker shade the first time around so you know don't beat me up because this is my first time so i'm learning this is how they Oh, look you can see i made that same mistake on a couple other fingers too but i'm gonna go ahead and do something else to them because i want to try to make them look like something so i'm gonna take these stencils i got these stencils from shein and we're gonna put them to you so they are french line stencils and i'm gonna try to make a little design out of it so i'm gonna take three of them and put them on the nail just to make a pattern and i'm gonna airbrush over it now i'm not gonna lie these little stencils from shein are not the best because they don't really stick that well I really had to rub these things down on my nail to get them to lay down but you really want to make sure they're not kind of coming up because when you airbrush you don't want it to bleed under the sticker because it's not going to look right. So as you can see we have white gel polish and acetone in our airbrush and I'm going to go ahead and just airbrush over the stencils. So I learned from my mistakes before and I'm going to keep airbrushing until the shade of white is the shade that I am 100% okay with before I take these stencils off and I cure. So I'm just really just going to keep airbrushing until I'm 100% satisfied with this shade. And the way I want it, I want it to be not see-through, but then not a solid white at the same time, if that makes sense. But whenever I'm satisfied, I am going to just take the stencils off with my tweezers and then cure after I'm finished.
and i love the way that looks hopefully this will camouflage some of my mistakes that i made but um i'm gonna do the same thing to all the rest of my fingers i kind of spaced it out more on the my other fingers because i like the way it looks with a thicker little curved line instead of that thin one that i did on my pointer finger so yeah that's what i'm doing right now and as you can tell, like I got a little bit impatient and I just was spraying my airbrush a little bit harder. And yeah, you can see it's splattering all over the place. So yeah, just be patient. But yeah, I'm all done with that. So now I wanna incorporate the little stars that I see on the original picture, just so it can look a little bit like what I was trying to go for. So in the reference picture, they have about two stars on each finger. I think it's two stars on each finger. So that's what I'm trying to recreate here. So I'm gonna use white, of course, and I'm gonna use a super thin liner brush to be able to get super thin lines when it comes to these stars here. I honestly had to pluck my liner brush, the bristles out of the liner brush to get it this thin because none of the liner brushes that I have, they're not thin enough. So I just customized mine instead of buying some more so yeah so if you have a lot of liner brushes to spare and you want to get your liner brush as thin as you possibly can get it yeah just go ahead and customize one of them and pluck it down because <laughs> having to buy some over and over again it's it's a little annoying but um yeah the liner brush that i'm using now is by beetles and i believe i bought it from amazon So now that's done, the only thing left to do is add our gold nail accessories, just like she had in the picture. So I have some gold little stars. I think she had like little roses, but I don't have that one in particular. So I'm just going to add these gold little stars in the center of each finger. And we're going to call it a day. <laughs> And after I go ahead and cure that charm in place, I'm gonna go ahead and put a top coat on it and we're done. I am using some of McCart's top coat. Then after I lay that, go ahead and cure. And then we have our finished product. So looking at the finished product, you can really see the mistake I made, especially on that middle finger. So I guess it's safe to say that we need a little bit more practice when it comes to airbrushing, but it's okay. Because for the rest of the weekend, this is all I'm doing. I am playing with this airbrush machine. But I can definitely say that this airbrush machine in particular, it works perfectly, it's easy to use. So if you're looking for an affordable airbrush machine, this one is definitely a great one to get. So be sure to let me know in the comments if you like this set down below. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join our nail family. Next week, we're gonna get into some Christmas nails. I think I'm gonna do snow globe nails. So um, if you're interested in that, make sure you turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I do post next week. And I will see you guys in my very next video.